low key. Very pronounced low key though. Today, I'm your man. At the moment, especially if you're a girl, I'll be that forever. Not saying, but look, that's the real shit though. Fuck the little, you know, the little jokes, the little ha ha he he. Fuck all that shit. I'm gonna be breaking down my productivity routine, like how I stay productive. How I, my routine for me to be redu- productive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So, I wrote down a bunch of things that I've done and I still do to this day. But done it before, done it before, you know. I started recording this. Okay. Each new week, every Monday, every Monday, set clear goals and a priorities for each day of the week, okay? Or you could be like this. If you don't want to do each day, you could do this week, I'm going to work on this, you know? And then, you know, that's what I do to stay in a in a place of productivity, to stay on my path, to stay on my shit. I tell my, I write down a goal. I write, I write down, I write down a goal, right? And then, you know, anytime that I get distracted or get off track, I read the goal over and then, you know, it, it puts me back into the vibration that, you know, I'm aligning with instead of one that is not with some, that's not, I won't. So really, whenever a week come, the fresh start of the week, Set goals and prioritize priorities for you. Like each day, you can set it for like that. Or you could be like, this week is what I'm going to do for this week. Next week, I'm going to do this. Okay? Now, like, okay, I'm going to break that down for me. So like with me, right, I, I make videos one day. Like I'll say this the day, I'm going to make a bunch of videos. And then the next day, I'll spend that whole day editing. Okay? I, so here's another another you know way for me in my routine to stay productive. Create a to-do list and prioritize tasks based on their importance and urgency. So when you make a, a to-do list, make a bucket list. Do the ones that you know less urgent, and then go do the ones that's more urgent. Because if you do the ones less urgent. When those days come, it's already done. And then you, can, when when it's time for you to work, you can work on the ones that you're supposed to work on. So, like, if you do whatever one is, you know, most recent that you got to turn in, or most recent that you got to post, you do that one. Or if you want to just, you know, stay busy, you do all the other ones, and then you go do that one. But that 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 that's simple, you know, anybody. You can do that. Any a three year old can do that. It needs his mom, like uh, it probably needs his mom, you know, to to put like you know little stickers to say this is what you do, and you get a star for doing that. So type shit. But I ain't never had that. <laughs> but 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 uh, let's get to it though. So the third, I can't count, but four. But I meant the third, the third, the third. Break down large tasks into smaller ones, more manageable ones. So, say if you're going to clean your room, right? But you don't got the motivation to dry. I'm the product. You don't got no energy to do it. So, this is what you do. First, you look at what's the smallest thing you can do. Maybe you can just pick up things off the floor. Maybe you can just organize your desk. So, whenever you start, that's going to give you the energy. And then after you got the energy, you got to take it from there. So break down larger tasks into smaller, more manageable ones. Start on one side of your room, like with me. If my room fully junky, like crazy junky, I start with making the bed. Don't ask me. I just start, I make the bed, and then I got all the energy to finish the room. So, hey, y- y'all can take that and put it in any perspective. And, and what if, if y'all making a song, y'all write the chorus. At least get the chorus done, and then you know take take your time from there. And then you know the fourth one. St- 
this this is how I stay on on time management. Like on my time management, use a timer or an app to stay on track and avoid distractions. Right. So you can you can put a timer on for I'm gonna do this for this long. Boom, you do it. And when you do when you put a timer on, you really like focus like so much better than when it's not on. Like you like when you hear that timer, that's when you realize that you, you know, you was focusing so much, like, when it, when that timer finally go off, but, yeah, so, best way for you, you know, be up on your shit and time management is use a timer, so you can stay on track and avoid all distractions at all costs, because, with me, I, I got the timer, I got the timer app, I, I, you know, in clock, I go to clock, I put a 30 minute timer, and freestyle, freestyle, after I, after that timer go off, boom! I go about you know that was my little practice of the day, and then I go do my own my own thing, I go do something else, go live or something. And then five, the fifth one, the fifth one, the fifth thing that you know for my productivity routine: take a break regularly to recharge and avoid burnout. So make sure you you put yourself in a perspective where you are able to like you know not overly work yourself out. Make sure that you you have days off and days in, cause the days off so much important than the days in. Cause the days off you can come back in. If you don't ever get off, you ain't gonna be able to come back in, cause you're gonna be so drained and not able to you know keep going. Cause sometimes you could burn yourself. You could burn. You're supposed to burn yourself out. Don't get me wrong. You're supposed to every day. You're supposed to come home. That bed's supposed to feel like a fucking a fucking um heaven like when i was working like a fucking 13 hour shift shit man that bed i'm telling you that bed was different that bed hit different so i'm talking standing all day in some you big ass boots man that bed hit different so i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all that bed hit different and then gotta wake up in three hours after you lay down that bed hit different i'm telling you i'm telling you you, if you experience it, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Only the ones that been through it know what I mean. But six, eliminate unnecessary tasks and delegate them to others if possible. So, if you know that's something that you not, that it doesn't really matter to you. It's not something that is a necessarily need. It's not something that is, uh, you know, beneficial for you then just eliminate that whole unnecessary task so you can, you know, be able to do something else that's more in your favor, more going to the place that you like to, you know, go towards, not somewhere that is leading you backwards, not somewhere that is just you being productive just because you want to say you're doing something and not something that's meaningful to you. Like, set goals that's meaningful to you because when you set a goal that's meaningful to you, you're going to be able to hit that. But you setting goals just because they're a goal, you ain't going to hit that shit. Just being realistic. But the seventh one, set realistic deadlines and avoid overcommitting yourself. So listen, a realistic, you know, deadline, this could be like, I'm going to get, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a network till I get like, um, I'm, I'm going to say something in y'all reality for y'all because I believe in, I believe crazy numbers like i'll tell y'all if i say like this number y'all that is a small number to me so say you know i'm gonna get a million you know supporters subscribers all of that shit okay the deadline for myself will be will be uh 2025 and i will have to i will give myself how many videos i will have to you know correctly make and you know i will actually you know Proceed every day, but look, this is a realistic deadline for anything you're gonna do. 18 months, 13 months, three months. If you got the faith, if you if you got faith like that and, and you believe in yourself, like three months, shit. But but for real though, on a real note, like on some serious shit, like whenever you start something, wait 18 months. I mean, yeah, eight, wait 18 months. Just do it every day for 18 months straight. No breaks off. Just 18 months straight. Keep going. And commit yourself. But with me, right? 
I try avoiding overcommitting myself to something that I know is not going to come into reality, to something that is not realistic. Because you could commit yourself to something so delusional that how delusional it is, you won't be able to ever get that. You'll just be wasting your time, wasting your life. And, you know, worrying about something that is not going to ever happen. So I want people, you know, to, to look at it like, what makes sense about it before you actually, you know, commit yourself to it. Now, if it don't, if it do make sense, commit it. But if it, if it don't make sense, now I'm now now I'm not saying somebody told you it don't make sense. I'm saying that you went and experienced it. You went and you know you you went and uh lived it. You went and uh you know thought you was the did the thinking for yourself. And when you did the thinking for yourself, it still led to the same outcome. That's how you know it's a delusion. But back to it. The eighth one. But we ain't done yet. Stay organized. Keep your workspace clean and cluttered, you know, and free. So, like, I got I got Virgos, you know, around me. You know, I love Virgos, too. Don't, don't get me wrong. But, you know, what I learned from them, they, they get, they, and my, my OG, she a Taurus. So, what I learned from, you know, all of them, Tauruses, they like that plan things. So like, like, they like to have every single thing planned before it happens like months i'm talking about months before a vacation or months before a fucking you finna go on that road trip like type shit right a virgo they got everything quarter guys categorized with the name with the label on it like brown colors and the brown colors like like if it was a bunch of crayons right she'll have all like say say you have like you know 30 different crayon box well, she'll take all the crayons out, put them all in a individual color spot. So that's that's the that, so I learned that from Virgos. That's how I, I really you know got it, got it. Like I stay organized, stay organized, stay like anytime you room get junky, anytime something you know you mess up, just clean it up right after. If you clean it right after, you don't have to worry about it getting messy. That's that's hey, that's what I that's what I do. That's what I learn. Now, a lot of shit I put I put there. For it to look like that. Like, you see that unicorn behind me? I put that unicorn like that. It had a crown on, but my I don't know what happened to it, honestly. I don't know. It had a crown on, though. But, yeah, you know, stay organized and keep your workspace clean and, you know, clutter-free. Don't, don't, don't be out here, you know, with a dirty, dirty everything. Like, you lay your head on a dirty space, your pillow's dirty, like, you know. Make sure you put like some type of organization into where you gonna be working and where you you lay your head. So clean your room, you know, every day. I know your mama told you that shit when you was younger. You probably you didn't like you didn't like you you got mad for cleaning your room. But look at this, look, it's your room. Would you rather Would you rather live in a junkyard or a um a five star suite? Now, if you if if you rather live in a junkyard, you probably ain't never gonna get a swipe a five star suite. They could, you think they want to clean up your mess in in a five star suite? I know they that I know they get paid too, but shit, you gotta you gotta at least have some type of some type of manners. If you don't got no manners, there you you hey, your house gonna be junky when you got your own house. If you shit, yo your kitchen gonna be nasty. Yo your bathroom gonna smell like oh hell nah. I ain't coming over. <laughs> but I'm so real shit though. The knife was use technology to your advantage. Like this how you you know stay productive. Like don't be scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Use a productivity app or time management tools. Like use your phone, use technology to help you stay on track. You get get a bunch of apps that is gonna help you get to where you wanna go. Don't get a bunch of apps to distract you. Like look, this is what I mean by get a bunch of apps to help you get to where you wanna go. Say you are a person what the fuck? Say you are a um that shit's scary. Did this it's still recording? I don't know. But say you are a person who uh you know you make cover arts you make you know you make uh animation you make thumbnails you make all type of shit right well download you know uh Photoshop download uh the workspace workshop download all the the shit that that's gonna help you execute you know that that specific or or life <laughs> era of life like with me right. 
So I make music. So I downloaded a bunch of music apps, a bunch of apps that I could, you know, distribute my music, a bunch of apps that, you know, I could post music and get new supporters. And then, you know, a bunch of, you know, apps that I could edit a music video with, with or, or, you know, something like that. Like, that's that's what I did. That's how, you know, I came up with this. And 10, the, the final one, and lastly, stay motivated. By rewarding yourself for completing tasks or achieving goals. So, like, if y'all ever went to pre-K, I ain't even go to pre-K. I went to kindergarten, though. But if y'all ever went to went to pre-K, right, I'm pretty sure whenever you did good on a test or some shit, you, got, you, you guessed the right color, they gave you a little star. Or, like, whenever you was, like, getting good grades in school, your parents, they gave you, like, uh, ice cream or some cookies. Now, me, I ain't never had none of that shit. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, I I wasn't no good kid. I was not no, I'm, I was not no good kid. But I wasn't, I wasn't no class clown either. I wasn't no class clown either. But I wasn't no good kid. But I wasn't no class clown either. So, I'm going to let you think about what I was. But, but just know. Yeah, on some real shit. Yeah, like that's all you gotta do. You know, give yourself like a hug. You know, do something. Like with me, I don't even know if I should tell y'all that shit. Should I? What What's the time say? I think I should. It, it's a It's a eight. So that's a you know a behind the scenes. But look, um, I use the time to. to <laughs> y'all don't even care. Y'all don't even need to know all that shit. That's just me. I I got another video that's gonna be coming out soon. That's gonna be breaking down numbers and uh, colors. But back to it. So yeah, you know, um, give yourself a, a hug on the back. What I do is like, and I finish like a freestyle. Like I'm talking. I don't, when I say a freestyle, my nigga. What I call the freestyle is the three hour freestyle, three hour one take. That's a freestyle to me. The other shit, that that's just practicing. That other shit, practicing. Just practicing. But. So after I do that, after I do a live stream, after I I make some videos, I go to I go to uh respect by GTA like in GTA Five that respect screen. <laughs> I should never told y'all that, but hey, I'm being transparent, so I hope y'all appreciate that though. But be safe. <laughs>